you ever tried to build with a broke man that was trying to get his life together? And did you have you ever have you ever sat back and looked at how you were treated, how you were talked to? That because part right that man there. felt like he didn't have it or he was less than, even though you tried to pour into that man. So no, happens, honey, you're not this it, it and that. It happens to the man internally. That's what's where always. Next thing you know, so he becomes emotionally unavailable. It's not just money. It's unavailable. a lot deeper than that. It's how you act when you don't have money. Yeah. And then and then they then they say, okay, well, if you do have money, how are you spending that money? There's a lot of men that have money. I was in a relationship with a man who had money who wanted to spend his money outside of the damn household. You're not putting the money into the household. So Was that a coping mechanism? It's not just you having money. It's a lot more can, that goes into it. I think part of the issue, too, when it comes to the conversation about men and women and finances is it's not that we're saying that money is completely alleviated and not Absolutely. important. It's not that we're saying that. I think part of the issue is you these dudes come out the gate leading with money and then get upset when they can no longer provide oh. that. It's Hey loves, welcome to today's video. Today we're talking about the realities of dating broke men and how that affects women in relationships. My question for you today is, how important is money in relationships and is that a deciding factor for you when choosing a partner? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Here are three things that will happen if you decide to get into a relationship with a man who is broke and barely got his life together. Number one, he will give you a lot of sex because that's all he has to offer. He will use sex to keep you distracted, to keep you um, preoccupied with providing him with money and things that he needs to help build him up because he's given you this pipe dream of a story that you and him will be a power couple someday like Jay-Z and Beyonce if you just continue to support him. He knows he don't have shit to offer you. So he will sleep with you morning, noon, and night and try to get you hooked and, and pacify you while he drains your money and resources. He doesn't intend on staying with you once he gets on his feet. So he's hoping that the sex will keep you pacified long enough until he gets what he needs out of you, then he's out of there. The second thing that will happen is he'll bully you. He'll bully and abuse you. Let me tell you something, a man determines his self-worth by his financial status. If he's broke or struggling or in between jobs, he's not going to feel good about himself. He's going to hate what he sees in that mirror. And best believe he's going to be resentful because he's broke and lacking. So he's going to turn around and bully you and punish you because you have your shit together. Even though you're helping this man, he feels emasculated. You don't make him feel like a man, even though you're helping him and contributing and, and, and trying to get him on his feet and nurse him and give him your car so that he can go on his job interviews. He doesn't appreciate it and he feels emasculated. Therefore, he will be mean to you. He will be verbally, emotionally, and sometimes physically abusive. He won't even like you. And he'll be low-key envious and competitive because you got your life together and he don't. Even though y'all in this relationship and y'all supposed to be building together, he will resent you and his resentment will turn into bully like abusive behavior. Be careful. Number three, instead of him doing the right thing and working with you and, and building with you, he's going to take your money and use it to impress other women, his side chicks, his baby mothers, the women in his family. So in other words, he will take your money and anything else you give him, buy clothes, buy Jordans uh, to impress other women. Take pictures and post them on Facebook and act like he's single, knowing he's laid up with you. He will use your money uh, for all his addictions, gambling addiction, lottery tickets, buying clothes, uh, drugs, alcohol, weed. He will blow your money on his addictions. And he will wine and dine his side chick with your money. More of the story, stay away from broke men. You're not going to last. He's going to destroy you. Now, I do think that money is very important in relationships. And of course, there are nuances to this topic. There are men out there who have money and resources, but they don't spend it in the household or they are penny pinchers. That's why the saying, you don't need a rich man, you need a generous one. That's why that saying got really popular. We also can't ignore the fact that some men who have money and are generous are also controlling and abusive. 
Men like to say that women don't want to build with men and want to leave if the man isn't giving her money or making a certain amount of money. For some women, yes, that is true, but there are women who will hold things down until a man gets his finances together. But imagine you are with a man who contributes less than 10% of the cost to run the household and asks you to allow him to bring his side chick home. What would you do? Let's watch this next clip together and some people's responses, and I'll be back at the end. A homegirl right now, bro, that she can come in and be a part of a relationship, and I don't got to deal with this. You must be shit. our children, all right? What you won't do, somebody else will. You oh, okay, so, you got a lot of so money. I won't pay these bills no more, right? So all these utilities But you don't pay your bills by for? yourself, love. What you think? Like, because you bro, my mama said kick kick out next to God. Three hundred dollars a month that you help I pay? I got more than three hundred. Okay, and just because you make more bank than me, that stops you from being able to cook. The rent alone is thirty two seventy five. You give you me two hundred and fifty a month towards the no, what? But if you made the same amount of money as I made cooking, I, 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 I pay, pay for the food. Cooking. You pay for the food. So I, pay, pay, I pay for the I pay for the cleaning so utilities. Cook. So let me bring it to you. Cook. What do you mean? I'm not how I'm supposed to cook and be focused on the work I got to do? That's I'm, impossible. How be focused? My work is more serious than yours. I can't be focused without a meal though, love. You make way more bread than me, and you feel like you exempt from being a wife. And, I, and I make sure money. that laundry is done. I make sure that the table bill is one. paid. I make sure that we got You're clean refrigerator. All I'm saying is this, right? Yeah. I, 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 I know female, right? You know her too. She, we could all be in a relationship together. So how one about this, right? Cook, one woman to clean. How about this? One woman to teach the how about kids. They need to get taught. How about this? You're right. My income, I can afford to take care of me and, and all the kids. But your income doesn't make it. And we can. That's the problem with women and nowadays. Y'all think you because y'all make more money than let's a man. Let's see how far you get with your Y'all friend. think because y'all make more money than a man, that stops me from being a woman to my man. How are you supporting me through your money? How uh, do you make like sure you got food in here too? Your money? What food? I'm heating up ramen noodles every night, bro. That's, that's your choice. Cooking, bro. That's I your choice. But if I made more than you, then what? You be you be at my head and foot serving me, right? No. It shouldn't so. be about the money, love. I don't think right? so. If, if you're my woman so, and I'm your man, no. if we both had zero dollars, we should both be able to go back and forth with right. each other. Right. So we both so, should be so cooking. That we both should be cleaning. But I do we know. Bo- you don't do that. As a man, I'm supposed to provide. Two pieces. But yeah. I provide. You provide. But I How provide. Do you provide because you make more money than me. I fill up the so, I pay these so, bills to so, keep this so, electricity so, on. So that's not all my money. That's not like the same thing. My money. Oh, I make this amount of money. We don't. But when you were broke and before you had that job, I was getting it all the time. When you was broke and before okay, you had that job, you was asking me, "What would you like to eat today, babe?" Okay. And you don't even ask me that no more. When, okay. When you was broke, I provide. When you was though. broke. And I, I came to the house, food, though. you made sure our kids came to the house food, before daddy was coming home. Now I, I got to walk food, through though. my house and I have to step over things. You know what I mean? Issues. But you as a woman need to learn yeah, to step in your the place. Way. That's what you need to do. Oh, so okay, so quit, learn to so quit, quit my job. I'm not telling you to quit your job. Quit my job. Let's look, look. Quit my job. Listen to me, listen to me. Right, quit my job. That's what you're saying, right? I'm not saying quit your job. Quit I'm my giving job. You two, I'm giving saying, you three ultimatums. Right? Either Shorty can move in with us. You work right? eight hours a day. I, I'm working 16 Shorty hours can move a day. In so with quit us. my job. Right? I can leave, right? You, you Or you can recognize a woman's place you can right? leave because it. you making 95000 has nothing to do Bye. with the fact that you don't please your man. You don't cook for your man. Bye. Bye. Did you not hear me? Bye. Bro, I'll easily you go. You gave the ultimatum like, to go I'll, right here. Yeah. Why, Bye. though? Why? When I could get a female Bye. who we could all be happy, bro. I, I could get somebody to cook for us. You don't never got to cook. You That's the difference okay? between me and you. Well, you I need, need you. You. you need me. That's the difference, right? I need you. Yeah, you need me. I, no, I need a woman to be a woman. You I don't need, need you. Me. If you didn't need me, listen, you wouldn't be complaining listen, about listen, food, right? You wouldn't have matter, a complaint right now. It does not matter to me if my woman is making 2000 a year or 95000 a year. What matters? Okay. Woman. Okay. woman I'm going to keep being a woman. It's good. My woman is a woman. So I watched that whole video. That whole video. And this bitching about her not cooking, not cleaning, not giving him something he wanted. Only because that her job 
which makes more money than he does because rent is thirty two seventy five and this only contributing two fifty to three hundred dollars. Bro, you contributing ten percent of the goddamn rent. And then you suggested that you bring your homegirl in to be part of the relationship to help y'all out. Please throw that motherfucker away. Please throw his ass away. First, go back and watch that video for context on what I'm about to say. You back? Let's unpack these bags. It's about to be a trip. This is my problem with y'all, the men of the world, and especially <laughs> you drizzle drizzle folks out here, right? You can't demand what you can't provide. That man said... How do you expect me to go out here and work and then come home and have to cook and clean and shit? Like, what are you thinking? Like, what? Take care of kids? This is basically his standpoint. While she is the breadwinner of the home, she is out there working. So can somebody make it make sense on how he expects her to go out there, get the bag, pay the bills, take care of the kids, and still come back and make sure he got a hot meal for every meal? She said herself, look, I'm paying for the food. You want to complain that you got to, you know, warm you up something to eat? It's rum, whatever, I paid for your food with, with the food, making sure you eat, right? So why are so many men out here trying to demand what they can't provide? And if they can provide it, they won't provide it. What's going on? We're lacking some reciprocity up in here. Like we're 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 lacking it. We're lacking it. Word of the day. Reciprocity. What's good for the goose is good for the gander. You want her to go out here and break her back and then come in that house and still do everything. And the only thing you gotta do is clock in. The days of being born with a pain and growing to get a paycheck and that's all you need is it's long gone. Okay. And I heard about your second phase of your drizzle drizzles out here too. Right now it's time to take away the money. Like this, didn't this video just prove to y'all prove positive. It ain't about the money. Like we, we, we can make the money. We can pay the bills. We can hold the household down. We can do that. But so I just want to know why she arguing with this bum. He has the audacity to ask if he could bring another woman into the household. Like he doesn't contribute to anything, but he thinks that him giving her $250 to $300 is him doing something. The rent alone is $3,275 and all he can give up is $300 a month at that. There's no way in hell I'd be sitting up here arguing with this dude. He would have been out of my house. Matter of fact, I wouldn't even been dating him in the first place. Especially for the fact that I'm making more money than he is. No. These are the type of guys that will sit up here and get mad at you for choosing the bear over him. These are also the type of guys that will sit up here and say, choose better. But they don't want you to choose better. They want you to choose their weak asses. What's crazy is that a lot of black males are just like that. Broke as hell. Weak as hell. Zesty as A lot of them don't have no goals in life. Besides leeching off of a woman, it's like the only thing that they really care about and worship the most is the size of their eggplants. That's another thing. They're all in competition with each other when it comes to eggplants, like eggplant swinging contest. Like they're more in love with each other than they are with women. Like a lot of these black males are looking for mommies, maids, doormats. They're not looking for a companion. They're not looking for a wife or a girlfriend. That's like me being a surgeon, a plastic surgeon, and I'm sitting up here dating a weak-ass black male who works in retail. What the f*** does that look like? Like, I can do bad all by myself. Like, what can a dude working in retail do for a woman who's a surgeon? She can do everything by herself. She can pay for everything by herself. What is he good for? And in this case, what is that guy good for? He ain't good for anything. To be honest, I think that she just has low self-esteem. That's why she's dealing with a dude like that. Because ain't no way in hell I will put myself through a situation like that. I mean, she might as well just have a bunch of babies then. Because that's what she's taking care of. A grown-ass man baby. But see, damn sure ain't a man. <sighs> I just know that the bar has to be in hell. There's just no way. All this man has to contribute is $250. Oh, and also he has the audacity to request for his side chick or friend to move in to help lighten the load of his girlfriend. Like, how dare you not contribute and you're complaining. <laughs> you're complaining about the things that she's doing. She's not cooking enough for you. 
And what are you doing? Giving $250 a month and acting like it's the biggest thing and acting like she's not doing enough. Giving ultimatums is literally out of... Why would you be giving ultimatums when you have nothing to stand on? She's paying all the bills. What are we talking about here? He's looking for a mother and that's what he needs to do. He needs to move back in with his mother. Simple. She took too long to say bye. Okay, see, this is this is why they picking bears and shit. This is why. W what the fuck is this? Okay, this dude is putting up two fifty a month, and he's complaining, talking to his shorty, who's he lives with shorty <laughs> because he only's putting up two fifty a month, and shorty's putting up every single dollar after that. So he living with her. He don't cook or clean. He don't do nothing. And he got the audacity to tell shorty, yo, let me bring a shorty in the relationship so she can cook and shit. What? Okay, this this is when Andrew Tate comes to a wrong direction over here. Like, how, like, where is your argument at? I don't, you're not even putting a 50, you're not even putting a 50. How how can you complain about anything and you putting up two fifty a month, my dude? What are we doing here? Now 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 we taking this to a whole nother level. How can you say that you provide when you don't provide, my dude? This dude gonna tell Shorty just because you make more money than me, you should still be cooking and cleaning and doing the wifely things. My dude, where, where where are you doing the husbandly things at? A husband is supposed to provide, my dude. You're not providing. If you're not providing, how, how are you protecting if you're not providing? So, where's your argument? Like, to be honest, you got one of the best girls in the world, son. How many women are willing to put up with that? How many women are willing to put up with 300 bucks a month? You f up the bag, my dude. Like, I wish wifey would just let me off with 300 bucks a month. Yo. And you trying to get another shorty. You trying to be on some polygamy shit with 300 bucks a month. Wow. Oh, shit. That's the craziest shit I ever saw. So obviously there's a lot going on here. So there seem to be children involved because she said that she can take care of the kids by herself. Children do not need to trap women in relationships with useless men. He isn't contributing financially in any significant way. He doesn't want to help with the domestic labor and he is already cheating on her. He has this side chick lined up and ready to go. And that means that he has this other woman for God knows how long. Secondly, that conversation lasted way too long. And that back and forth was really unnecessary. The moment that he opened up his mouth and mentioned that he wanted to move another woman into the house, his belongings should have been on the streets. That conversation should have been a wrap. And the fact that he said that, oh, you are, you know who she is. That means that he's sneaking around with someone behind her back. And that person is probably a mutual friend. Like, what was he expecting her to say? Oh, well, I know the person, so it's okay. You can bring her, bring her home and she can do the cooking and the cleaning. And then, and, and we can all be one big happy family. No, what is his purpose? He goes on and on about wanting her to do wife duties and talks about how a man should be a provider and whatever. But how are you providing with $300? How are you providing with $300 a month and asking to bring another woman in the house? You do not make enough money for a polygamous relationship. But obviously he's not smart enough to come to that conclusion and he's just hoping that she's gonna be dumb enough to allow that to happen. Now, one of my main concerns when I saw this was, what is her self-esteem like? What is her relationship with herself like? Because how are you working 16 hours a day and coming home to a man who has this much 
audacity. And the way that he said everything so plainly to her, I have the feeling that he talks to her like this on a regular. So what is it? What's keeping her there? Because it's not his amazing personality. It's not his charm. It's not his looks. I feel like she can do bad all by herself because she's paying more than 90% off the rent alone and she is buying all the food all he has to do is make something for himself and he thinks that's too much to ask sometimes we block our blessings by dealing with people who should not really be in our lives by staying on a chapter that has clearly ended because this man has no love and no respect for her may this type of love never find me in life there are worse things than being single and i think this situation is one of them share your thoughts in the comment section below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video